Jay here and today we're talking about buck fever, forehead gland, scrapes, make the bucks hunt you. So through the years, some of my best trail cameras in the summer, yes, the summer, a lot of people are out there going, bucks don't use scrapes in the summer. Guess what we're gonna show you? Over the last couple of weeks, I've actually been posting pictures of um, a scrape in the Midwest and there has been six to seven bucks, I would say every three, four nights checking it out here and there. One of them is fully mature for sure. So we're here in southwestern Pennsylvania, my home. We're setting up for the season, and this is how I start my scrapes for the year. I usually start them in July, August, and I don't want to touch them. Looking at here is this this tree is hanging down. Um, we set this up last year, tied it down so we'd bend over and grow this way. And it was one of our hottest scrapes of the season. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie this rope up nice and high so as the leaves fall off and it lessens the weight in the tree, this rope is still hanging down where they can get it. Ryan and I were on the road last year and we had a five-year-old show up that we just couldn't get back here to kill him. He was only here for four or five days. If he does it again this year, hits his scrape, gives us a chip shot on the south wind, we hope we're ready for him. Your tip of the day from Buck Fever Synthetics and Mountaintop Outdoors, I'm Jay, and best of luck this fall. Thanks for watching.